Well, have you ever wondered if you might have Jewish blood in your background? I am certain that many who love Israel do. Now, a breakthrough in DNA testing can help you find out for sure. For DNA researcher Donald Yates, digging around his family tree led him back to Europe and an era when Scotland was actually Jewish. Here's his fascinating interview. Uh, what brought you to, to the place of writing about uh, the Jewish uh, genealogy of Scotland? It's a fascinating subject. I can tell that you're uh, fascinated and almost speechless. I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> And most people say, when Scotland was Jewish, I, I didn't know it ever was. But uh, Scotland happens to be the only country in Europe that never persecuted Jews. And uh, there are reasons for that. And I was led to this story, which is an amazing story, by my own genealogy, which was so unusual that uh, I even had to start my own DNA testing company to uh, completely sort it out. That's and why you started a DNA yes, company? Yes. And uh, I, I'm Jewish. I'm also uh, Choctaw Cherokee Indian. I was born in Georgia. What and, a mixture. Right. <laughs> so uh, it was a moral imperative uh, on me and others in my family to figure out who we were. Of course, I, I guess I should have known all along because my grandmother's name was Palestine. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, what's, so talk about the, origin, the, the Jewish origin of Scotland. How did this all happen? <clears throat> well, it uh, happened uh, with the conquest of England. William the Conqueror, or as other people unkindly but accurately call him William the Bastard. 12th century. Uh, in the 11th century, conquered England. You know the date, 1066. And he brought with him uh, a lot of French Jews to run the civil administration of the new state because Jews could read and Jews could count. They had literacy, they had numeracy, which is the equivalent for accounting purposes. For instance, they invented the uh, form of accounting known as the exchequer, and they're still a lord of the exchequer today in, mm. the, in the British aristocracy. Down through time, uh, that uh, office was held by Jews. And uh, then in 1290, that's an important date, 1290, Going back to Braveheart, you mentioned Braveheart. Who was the villain in Braveheart? We know who the hero was, William Wallace, but who was the villain? Edward, King, King Edward. That's right. King Edward expelled the Jews from England uh, unless they converted or pretended to convert. Uh, then they became secret Jews or crypto Jews. But many of them like just Spain. went, exactly. Many of them just went to Scotland because Scotland was always welcoming toward Jews. So you have intermarriage through the centuries, and as a result, you told me, I think, that according to your research, one out of every eight? You could, uh, you could say that probably one out of every eight Scotsmen in their kilts and uh, uh, attire and with their bagpipes and, <laughs> and whiskey, <laughs> is walking around on the streets of Edinburgh and, and Glasgow and Aberdeen, particularly Aberdeen, uh, with Jewish heritage, and they don't know it. Amazing. Now, I asked you this question in the green room. True of, of other countries as well, with all the intermarriage? Well, I'm sure, because the Torah tells us that uh, when the tribes were dispersed, they went to every part of the world. Let, let's focus on DNA testing, because you have a DNA testing company. So we've been, I've talked to you quite a bit about this before the program, because this is very intriguing to me. We get a lot of, uh, of uh, Christians that watch the program 
that want to know if it's possible that they're, they have Jewish blood somewhere. Sure. Well, they can find out. They can. Talk All about some of the breakthroughs. What is DNA testing and what are some of the recent breakthroughs? Well, DNA testing for your personal uh, information as a consumer or a hobby or, uh, began was an off-growth off, off of the uh, Human Genome Project. That was the most ambitious scientific undertaking in America since the Manhattan Project. Uh, I was trying to think of a way to connect nuclear w weapons with uh, DNA. Our last guest, <laughs> very clever. Uh, so I, I think you can connect them because with nucleotides. <coughs> because there are three billion nucleotides in your DNA, which is in the shape of a double helix and is found in every cell of your body. I don't care who you are. And the purpose of the Human Genome Project was to write the code and uh, to map the entire uh, set of genes, three billion nucleotides, uh, for humans. That's pretty <clears throat> ambitious. It was, and like many other ambitious projects, they claimed to have finished uh, before they actually did, and they actually used a lot of guesswork. <laughs> they used what is called, guesswork is an unvarnished term for it, which we might use in Georgia, but uh, well, how does they would have used the word heuristics. Well, okay. well Donald, how but, does a DNA test work? <clears throat> okay, it works with a swab, with um, something like a Q-tip. Okay. You rub it inside your mouth against the inside of your cheek for 30 seconds. You collect cheek cells that way. You put it back in the envelope, send it back to our lab, and we run the appropriate test. They're different tests. Well, so, but in essence, what, what, what are you doing in the test? The, uh, well, how, it depends and how, on and the how test. Does a and how is the person able to find out if, they're, if they have Jewish blood? Well, they get a report at the end of the process, and we have data on uh, many Jewish populations, Sephardic Jews for, uh, from uh, Israel, Spanish Jews, Hungarian Ashkenazi Jews. Uh, but beyond that, there's a step that we take with uh, some newly discovered markers, and this is very exciting. Uh, this is where autosomal comes in, right? You remember that. I remember that term. Yes. Autosomal, the exciting thing about it is that a uh, male or a female can take it. It's the great equalizer. Females don't have a Y chromosome or they'd be a boy. Okay. Uh, so uh, a male or a female can take it and it tests all of your ancestry, all of your lines, your mother's side, your father's side, your mother's father, your father's mother, all of them. So uh, it's going to give you a mat if you have any degree of Jewish ancestry, it's going to give you a match to a Jewish population in the world. So pe people that are watching that want to find out if they have Jewish uh, genealogy can find out, is it 100% accurate? It's, it's completely reliable and it's uncanny. If you have one of our Ashkenazi Jewish markers, there are three of them in the panel that can be added to the test called the 18 marker ethnic panel. If you have one of those markers, you have Jewish ancestry. It's that simple. If you have a Native American marker, you have Native American ancestry to some degree. It does not tell you how much, but it can be a very small or hidden amount. So if people watching want to find out definitively whether they have Jewish blood, they can do it now. Absolutely. With DNA testing and this new breakthrough, this That's autosomo right. uh, it is male, female. It's a, it really is a new breakthrough. It is. In DNA it's testing. It's very exciting. And uh, people generally find out that they're more mixed than, than they thought they might have been. And there's at least one surprise. Uh, hopefully, it, it will be a pleasant one for you when you compare it well, <laughs> to, to, to your well, I'm gonna, paper I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for my wife. Uh, Donald, that's fantastic. Thank you. When Scotland was Jewish, Thank you. Donald Yates.